say something. Have you ever heard of Saturn You've Punked? No. Yeah, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. Yes. Cool. Good. Do you think it's important for young people to have a say? Yeah. Um, why? Uh, I do think it is, because I believe it might give our opinions and improve. I do, yeah, because otherwise the, people, the old people are getting out of touch with younger people, and if that happens they don't know what we want, then there's a bit of animosity between us. Uh, yes, I do, because young people have good ideas. If you were in charge of Sutton for a day, what would you do for young people? Um, make it sound green. Um, I just give them, you know, a little bit more freedom than we already have, like, you know, just being able to do what they kind of want. Uh, I would probably give them more better facilities and stuff like that. Um, give them more places to go instead of hanging around the streets, they could go to somewhere else. Um, How can we get more young people to know about you, Parliament, in general? Um, well, let's people go on Facebook, so I'll go on, like, Facebook, Twitter, post it all over, put flyers up and go around the schools as well. Okay. Uh, posters, advertise. Sutton Youth Parliament is a platform for young people aged 11 to 19. Here at Sutton Youth Parliament, we have meetings once a fortnight for an hour and a half. We regularly discuss the issues facing young people and how to tackle them. Members of Sutton Youth Parliament get the opportunity to express themselves and take part in various events like inter-school debates, music and social events. The difference between an elected member and local member of Sutton Youth Parliament is that the elected member is elected from the constituency of the London Bar of Sutton. As an elected member for Sutton, I am able to attend local as well as regional meetings to discuss issues that affect young people and as well discuss views, opinions and ideas on how to make change. We achieved a lot in the past year at Sutton Youth Parliament. Um, in my time as a member, um, I was given the opportunity to speak at the House of Parliament which was a great opportunity, obviously. Um, I got to voice my views on national television about sex and relationship education, which is a really important topic for young people today. Being involved in Sutton Youth Parliament gives you access to a lot of skills you didn't know you had before. I think Youth Parliament just sort of made me more aware of what there was available to do in Sutton and the things that I could get involved in. I would say to any young person who wants to join Sutton Youth Parliament that they can do a huge amount of good here. They can help their friends and their community and above all help themselves as well. This improves your confidence, your public speaking, it just makes you a more well-rounded person. I was a member of Youth Parliament in 2010, representing Sutton, and I'd just really like to recommend all of you to get involved, um, get, get active, because this gives you the opportunity to get your voice heard and get the opinions of young people all over your borough heard. I heard about Youth Parliament when my teacher came up to me and she explained what Youth Parliament was and what it did, and I thought it sounded Really great. I joined Sutton Youth Parliament because I saw her at school, um, it was on a sheet of paper and I just thought this is a great opportunity to help out my community. I think it's worth it, I've had a really good time being part of Youth Parliament. Yeah I do find it really enjoyable just because it gives us all the opportunity to sort of have our say and like actually do something in the community rather because young people don't normally get any opportunities like that like for example school you can't really do much outside of school so yeah I do really enjoy it. Um, I guess the biggest benefit is the people, the people that you're with at the meetings. We always have such a laugh and you get a lot done as well so it's great fun. In November you will be able to vote in all Sutton secondary schools. You will receive a ballot paper and manifesto from all candidates. Completed ballot papers should be placed in the ballot boxes provided to your schools.
And along with my colleagues, we are Sutton Youth Parliament. Sutton Youth Parliament is part of a larger organisation, UK Youth Parliament, an institution that is dedicated to representing and expressing young people's views on a national level. Along with assisting UK Youth Parliament's national project, SYP also hosts its own events. This year, we intend to host an inter-school debate. We've already hosted a similar debate, and it was a great success, with many participants commenting on what a great evening it was. In order to host this event, we request £350 from the Youth Bank in order to cover costs for the night. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> Just the Oh, okay. I'm sure you'll agree with me that it's a fantastic opportunity to allow young people to discuss issues that specifically affect them. Thank you for listening, and I now pass over to Lily Lovett. Okay, so I'm Lily Lovett, I'm the elected MYP for Sutton, and I'm going to be talking about the budget. Now, obviously last year we had a lot more money in the vote because... Okay, that didn't make any sense. Uh, money okay. in the budget. <laughs> we had a lot more money in the budget because uh, we weren't affected by cuts. But this year, we have a significantly less, a lower budget, so first of all, we're going to have a venue hire of this building, which will cost £100. The trophy for the evening will cost £70. The catering and food will cost £100. Certificates will cost £10. And the t-shirts will roughly, you know, other expenses about £70. So this total is in about £350. So we reviewed last year's expenditure and worked out this year that's probably the right amount of money. We, didn't, we spent about the same last year and we realised, you know, we didn't need any more food but it'd be nicer to have a bigger, you know, uh, spread. spread. <laughs> uh, okay, so these are the, you know, budget, and uh, now my is going to talk about why it's important to debate. So why are we so passionate about hosting this debate? The theme for Sutton's Youth Parliament project last year was unity. This means trying different ways on bringing young people in the borough together through an inter-school activity. From the success of last year, we've decided to continue this theme this year. The aim of this project was to bring young people from the borough together and express their views and ideas of issues that are affecting young people all over the world. We believe the most effective way to hear views of other young people would be through a debate format. The candidates last year saw this experience as invaluable and a great opportunity to practice public speaking. Last year, Sutton Youth Parliament had made, the rec made two recommendations for the for next year to take into account. The first recommendation was that the annual event focuses on relevant and current issues. So this year, we've decided to choose topics for the year carefully, making sure that they are interesting, dynamic and of course current. Our second recommendation was to improve each year by having more schools join in. This year we've decided to have eight schools involved instead of, instead of six. Giving young people confidence, unity and of course enjoy, an enjoyable evening are the reasons why we believe hosting this debate is so important. Thank you. Okay, so really the benefits for individual young people is skill development and also it's going to really raise the profile of Sutton Youth Parliament in a year in which the UK Youth Parliament really needs a boost of the profile. So obviously young people are going to be coming into the Life Centre, which is prominent in Sutton, and you know, find more about Youth Parliament. Thank you for listening, and here are some quotes from the last year, which we find really useful in evaluating.